Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt, if you're new here, this is a channel about Chinese martial arts and how they enrich our lives. And this week I'm just gonna talk about my wooden man. I've had a couple of people ask me about it in the comments, so I figured I might as well show a couple of the bits I do on it. So let's get the obvious out of the way. It is significantly better and preferable to have a training partner, but I live in the middle of nowhere, as you probably noticed from some of my videos. And um, sometimes you just have to make do, don't you? But um, it's, it's not a bad second best, to be honest. So let's talk about the design first of all. My teacher, Neil Johnson, I'll link his channel below. He put the design together for this one and then I got my friend, Adam Havley, shout out to Adam, um, to, to make it for me. So my particular version is significantly heavier than Neil's and there's sort of pros and cons with that. I like the fact that I have to move this one and make it, um, I have to sort of stick and adhere and it really helps I find for some of that sort of sticking stuff so that I actually really like it for that kind of stuff. Also when you hit it, it doesn't tend to go as far. The uh, bad side to it is you don't get quite as much reactivity. So in obviously if I hit it that way, the other arm comes back at me. But on my one, it comes back at me rather slowly. So you can do these drills where you do sort of like this cross block, upper block type, type combination where you try and work your, your reaction time and get the, the blocks as, as quick as possible. But because mine is so slow, actually it's, it's relatively easy to do that block. Well, it's very easy. Uh, so, um, whereas Neil's, because it uh, spins much quicker than mine does, I don't get that. But it's horses for courses. I like the fact that mine is a bit of a lump and I have to, I have to move it around and it, it doesn't sway quite so much so I can sort of uh, work on my footwork to move around it and things like that as well. I will say this, I use it mostly for sticking these days rather than trying to get as many punches off as I can. I find it's quite useful for learning to adhere and stick to other, other opponents. And I quite like the fact that I have to use some, some stickings, obviously it's what we do in, in white crane stuff a lot, and I find that's got some real benefits when, when working with a partner. I'm manipulating them to what I want, opposed to just uh, doing simple linear strikes. So I, I quite like it, despite, the, despite some of the, um, the issues with it. Ideally, if I did another one, I might move the arms around. I sort of wondered about, uh, instead of having four arms, you could have two in the middle, so you could work different types of block, but then you can't do the conditioning on the shins quite as well. You've only got the single leg. <sighs> Goes on and on and on. But um, let's be honest. Uh, at the end of the day, a lot of these things are just toys. They're just Kung Fu toys. As much as we try and be serious about all this stuff, um, it is just a fun thing that I play around with in my studio. But I do find it's got some actual benefits in terms of uh, getting used to sort of setting up some entries and things like that. Um, what I would do sometimes if I was, say, training for a, like a Sandar fight or something like that, I'd put up the heavy bag, where the camera is, you would be there. Uh, I'd put up the heavy bag and then um, do one round on the, the bag and then one round on this. So I'd sort of work on trying to get a bit of sticking with gloves on. Um, it's a bit better, I have to say, particularly because it's cold today, you feel it even more. But it's, it's fine for striking. If it were round, it would be a bit better because sometimes if you catch it on a corner, that's why, why I've got these uh, two-tone bits because it was very square when I first got it. So I tried to round it off a bit more. But if you do catch it on a corner, it's not quite so pleasant. So um, yeah, but when you've got gloves on, it is actually quite nice. You can work on your striking as well, which is quite, um, Quite useful, quite cool. So um, yeah, I would, I would work on bag work and then put this together to try and sort of be more than just a just a kickboxer. He says, hopefully. So there you go. That's me just messing around in the wooden man. I often drill certain techniques. 
I do often just mess around in it because it's quite fun. It gets you thinking, gets you used to your sort of proprioception and your stepping and things like that. So there you have it. Questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'll link a, a video on the screen if you like any of this stuff. If you want to subscribe, that's great. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.